Hello everyone, I'm Victoria. Welcome to today's video. Today's pick a card reading about how you can make your life much better right now. So in this very moment, what can you do to just improve your life in whatever way is best for you? I feel like this is going to be a really helpful one. And my goal with this is kind of to start this create this chain reaction where we're just all helping each other. I help you, you help me in some way, you help someone or you help someone else and we all help each other and we're all in like a, a cycle and loop of helping and abundance and love and yeah, I hope you can feel some of this energy here today and I hope I can assist you in some kind of way as well. Um, we have three cards here today that we're picking with. Group number one here is represented by the fever few. Group number two is the clover. And group number three is the bramble. So yeah, just take your time. See which group is kind of pulling you in the most. And if you feel uh, like you want to watch more than one of the groups, like you feel drawn to several, you can watch all of them. You can watch just the parts that you feel you need to. It's all your choice. Anyway, I'll give you some time and then I'll see you in your group. Hello, group number one. You guys picked the fever few and I'm just shocked that this card came out at the exact uh, video that I was talking about us creating this chain of um, helping each other <laughs> in some kind of way um, because the fever feel here for you is telling you that the way that you can right now make your life better is by assisting others in some type of way uh, the people who were always there for you the people who are not even just your closest people honestly even people on the street like I feel like you might start coming into contact with people who, you know, you can help in some kind of way. And I don't want you to take help in like a, a huge kind of way. Like, oh, I need to do something big for them to help them. Even just being nice to someone and sending love to someone and or good energy can be helpful in some way. Even just um, writing to someone, messaging someone like, hi, how are you? Or, um, like, writing on someone's post, like, oh, yeah, I agree with you. Or I love what you just posted. I love the photo that you posted. It's so beautiful. Like, even just that is helpful to someone because it gives them that good energy. And you, in some type of way right now, are full of something. You're abundant in some type of way. And in what, what you're abundant in... You need to share to others. So, I don't know, I feel like it's so beautiful, your group, where um, it's really time to share more with others, whatever you are abundant in. So, if you are just feeling so much love and good energy, then share that with others. Don't just keep it to yourself. And um, I'm sure that a lot of us already do that, but um, maybe we don't do it always enough. I mean, clearly if this card is coming through for you guys, then you can do a bit more of uh, this helping in some type of way or just being nice to someone, helping out someone with their chores or with their work or, um, I don't know. Um, if you're sending money to someone, sending them like a bit extra just because, you know, you, you're abundant. So, you know, you can afford to send them a bit extra even if you feel like oh maybe money is tight <laughs> um but yeah I don't know there's just something about generosity and being generous with what you have what you're abundant in uh will will bring more of that energy back to you as well so don't think that you know you giving this away will not you know you'll just be giving it away and that's it um something that you need will come right back at to you it's like doing a good deed so that um good things keep coming i mean obviously <laughs> you should not have that as your intention like i'll do it so that good things start coming to me do it because you want to because out of the goodness of your heart 
Because when you do it thinking that, oh, I'm going to receive something, that's when um, there's like a dissonance there. So yeah, let's see what tarot cards came through for I'm really curious. So we have the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. So that's a lot of cups, group number one. Um, so naturally, it makes sense why I was talking about a lot about love and sharing love and good energy. Um, there's a lot of emotion here, <laughs> a lot of emotions. Um, and actually, you might be feeling a bit like, I mean, clearly unsatisfied with what you have. Um, for, for all of you, it will be different, but some of you might be unsatisfied with, uh, for example, some of your possessions. Not satisfied with what you have. Um, you know, in the past, you maybe loved it, uh, but now you're just not resonating with it anymore and it's just not for you anymore. And that's when you can give it out to someone else. I sell it for, you know, a reasonable price or give it away to charity if you want to. Give it to some friend or someone who will actually use it and uh, want it. For your group, I'm feeling a strong sense of don't do things. Again, don't do things because you'll receive something. If you're doing something, for example, for money, uh, it's just not going to go as well as when you want to do it because you want to do it. Like out of the goodness of your heart because, you know, you want someone to enjoy this as well. Don't buy something just to resell it with that intention of reselling it and making extra money. Buy it because you want it and you want to enjoy it. And then if you don't like it anymore, then give it to someone else who will love it or sell it to someone else who will love it. Um, so tapping into those pure intentions of the heart, tapping into more love energy. If you've been missing some of these thoughts, if you have been doing a lot of things uh, just so that you can receive something from them, then that beca that's because you haven't been, part of it is because you haven't been fully satisfied with what you have. And it's not because you don't have enough, it's because you don't feel like you have enough. <laughs> um, so it's all about the feelings and it's about your heart. Like you're missing something and you're thinking that these things, for example, if they're material things, uh, that these things that you're missing or this money that you're missing is going to make your life better, but it's not. It's what you're missing on the inside that will make your life better. And then these things might start coming or they might not. You know, it depends if it's for you or not. Because nothing that's not for you will come to your life. <laughs> if you understand what I'm meaning. <laughs> um, whatever you received in the past, it was for you. It was for you at a time uh, for a reason, for some kind of reason, and now it's not for you anymore, and that's completely normal. We're constantly shifting, we're constantly growing and shifting, and, um, like, it's not just our body shifting, getting older, obviously, uh, but our souls and our, our spirits, our minds, they're shifting, they're growing, they're moving, everything is moving all the time, um, and shifting, so, you have shifted into something and someone else. So naturally, you want different things. And um, I, I really, even looking at this card, it's just making me think generosity. I think you become much more generous than you already have been. Um, and that is what will really help you. Just feel that feeling of generosity. Like I can give this person something even if I they'll never even if they never gave me anything or they're never gonna give me anything again I don't care I just want to give it to them just because so that kind of feeling making people around you happy uh is what <laughs> makes you happy this might be something like particular to you and your soul that you might realize and start to understand more especially as you get out of uh a, a negative mindset when it comes to abundance um, that you just love making others happy and if uh, sharing whatever you have makes them happy then you you want to do that you want to do that more and more while maybe in the past at least some of you maybe not all of you but at least some of you might have been thinking like 
hmm, I, I could give this person that, but they never gave me anything. Or, you know, maybe they'll never feel like do that for me. So why should I do it for them? Sometimes that's not the worst thing to think. <laughs> um, it can protect you from doing things that aren't the best, but um, sometimes we just need to be generous and just share, share what we have. And you will be sharing. That is what will really make you happier, sharing these things, getting rid of these things, I guess, in a way, but not getting rid of them, like throwing them in the trash, but getting rid of them by sharing. Or um, it could even be talking about emotions and the emotions within you sharing that with others it might actually help others understand more about themselves too so if you for example uh, finally decide to open up to someone about something um, by telling them that they might start realizing oh I've been dealing with something similar too or a friend of mine has been dealing with something similar maybe I can help them with that too you know you never know what sharing will do and um, sharing is, and caring and loving is just uh, so important. I don't, I don't even know how to fully explain it. It sounds stupid. Like, of course we know that loving is important. Sharing is important. We all know that. But do we do it? Because I feel like I've known that my whole life. But I didn't do it most of my life. <laughs> So what's the point of knowing if, you know, you're not going to do it? So for you, it's time to start doing it because this is really what will make your life right now much, much better, much happier. I mean, look at this, the Ten of Cups going from these uh, cards that are unsatisfied and sad to the Ten of Cups. That's a huge, complete turnaround. Um, and you want that. You want to feel that. You want to tap into your heart again, tap into the love, tap into just feel feeling put your hand on your heart right now and feel it feel your heartbeat but not just your heartbeat feel that that heart that's that's not physical <laughs> feel the love that's around that area and allow it to break open and break free and just breathe in love Breathe in love and breathe out anything negative, anything that's holding you back from loving. Doing exercises like that will be really helpful. Um, just connecting with your heart chakra, I definitely recommend that to you guys. Jokes on you. <laughs> yeah, this jokes on you card is kind of funny to me maybe not funny to you guys <laughs> um, but I really feel like jokes on you you got what you wanted but what you wanted is not what you needed so now you're not really happy with it um, maybe you were in some kind of different mentality before where you wanted these things but then when you got them you finally realized well, that's not making me happy uh, I'm still not happy the truth is that you're not happy because because of your heart your heart is carrying so much sadness. It's it's carrying not just sadness, but heaviness from from. It feels like junk. I'm I'm seeing junk and like trash from everywhere and everyone, and it just needs to be released. Release it, and allow yourself to feel feel love and to be generous, to love others. Um. So yeah, jokes on you. <laughs> that things didn't work out because they weren't supposed to work out. Sometimes we we struggle so much to get to to reach a certain point when that point we're trying to reach was never for us. And of course if we ever get there or even halfway there, we're like what? I hate it. Why am I trying so hard to get there? I'm not even happy with this. So figure out what you're unhappy with. I'm sure you already know it. And um, start start looking into making changes. And again, he healing and supporting others will heal and support you. So that, that chain reaction of healing and helping. You help someone, someone will help you. Maybe not the same person, maybe a complete other person that you never would have thought would help you. 
but it will start happening. And again, the chain reaction of you opening your heart and then going forward and forward. <clears throat> uh, also laughing, jokes on you, laughing, making jokes, having more fun. Of course, we know this. That will make our lives better. Laughing is one of the, the best things humans can do because it, literally people say that it can heal you. Laughing can heal so laugh, find things that you love doing, laugh, enjoy your time, enjoy your life, and um, don't wonder why am I unhappy, <laughs> you know, if you're not doing these things, then obviously you're not happy, <laughs> again, this is like so um, elementary in a way, but we, we know this, but but we still don't do it. <laughs> we have soul satisfaction here. Honor your uniqueness and do what makes you feel good exactly. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your life. And use use your, your gifts. And whatever again, whatever you're abundant in. To share it with others. Look how they're sharing. They're laughing together. They're enjoying. Everyone is doing what they, what they feel they must. What they want to. Everyone is creating a beautiful world. We're not here to create a world where everyone is filled with junk, filled with trash. Their bodies are filled with trash because the food and stuff. And then your emotions, your heart is filled with trash because of all of, the, <laughs> all of those uh, mental blocks as well. Your mind is also filled with trash, all kinds of trash. We see so many things. We're overloaded with information and everything. There's trash everywhere. <laughs> and for you, what would be best is to remove as much of the trash as possible and stop focusing on it. Um, start focusing on love and on healing. And if you're feeling like, why am I not feeling love from this person? Don't ask yourself, why does this person not love me? Why am I not feeling love for them? Ask yourselves, ask yourself... <laughs> First, why am I not feeling that love? Maybe they are giving me love, but I'm not feeling it. And why am I feeling like this? Start with me, and then, you know, when there's issues, start with yourself. Then move on to helping others and assisting others. Whew. We also have divine potential here. Fulfill your destiny. Be all you can be. This is your destiny. You came here to help and assist others. You came here to be a part of this cycle. But I feel like, I guess we're starting now <laughs> to, to create this chain where we are all going to help each other. We're here to do that. We're not, again, we're not here to create a world where people are angry, where people are yelling at each other, where people, you know, are aggressive. We're here to create a world where people are enjoying, they're laughing. And if there's a problem, you talk about it nicely and you don't overreact. Um, and you laugh about it. You enjoy yourself, not yell and or cry in a corner. We're here to create a beautiful world and chain reaction. So let's start doing it together. <laughs> you're watching this video, so you're you're destined to start doing this. And we also have Gaia here. Ooh, Earth connection. Be mindful of the planet and come back to Earth. Stay grounded. Oh, I love your reading group one. Um, I'm not surprised, I guess, that this card is coming out because of what I was saying before. Again, uh, our food is trash. Most of the things we eat is trash. Let's be honest. Let's be honest here. It's filled with trash. It's filled with chemicals. It's filled with heavy metals, etc. Um, it's trash. <laughs> the water, a lot of it is also, you know, filled with stuff. Um, and we consume it. We consume it and... The worst part is that most people right now are consuming the worst. Like, you know, you could consume the fruits and vegetables that are, yeah, they have some chemicals on them. but Or you can consume the super ultra processed things that are completely, barely even anything. <laughs> barely even food. And you can fill yourself with garbage. And then you can fill yourself with garbage when you look on Instagram or all the socials. And then you look at all these random posts by whatever. 
or go outside and just look at some billboards, especially in the big cities. Look at the city and everywhere there's signs, trash, trash, trash. It's all trash because it's filling our minds with extra information. And just because you're not noticing uh, every single sign and reading every single sign doesn't mean that your brain isn't processing it. It is. It's just that your brain is not overloading you and your I guess, conscious mind with all of that information. But just remember that you're always consuming that. So going out more into nature where there's less trash, <laughs> hopefully, like that, uh, would really be uh, help you. Consuming things that are more coming from nature will assist you. Uh, and releasing all of your troubles that are in your heart, all of that, like that feeling of the, the trash that's inside your heart that's making it darker than it's supposed to be, than it can be. All of the pain, that's trash. Remove it. You don't need that. All of the mental blocks, remove them. You don't need that. It's trash. Remove it all. And the best way to do it, I guess, is connecting more with the earth and allowing the earth herself to assist you. The earth is, we're part of the earth. We're one with the earth. So, of course, it's going to want to assist us. Your body wants to assist you to heal if you're sick. It wants to assist you to heal. It doesn't want you to stay sick. <laughs> you don't want to stay sick, do you? In any kind of way. Mental, physical, emotional. No one wants to be sick, but we are. Why? Because of all the trash. <laughs> Again, I love your reading in group one. Um, what a great way to start. <laughs> <laughs> codes of the seeds the blueprint is within you take the next step and again you're you're inside like it's like the feeling of being a seed inside the the planet um you're growing and it's starting to grow again we're starting the chain reaction of helping the seed is within us we're starting we're only just starting it really feels like you are feeling a bit weird and like you want to make your life better that's why you're watching this video and you're feeling this because you know that you have stuff to clear and um stuff to let go of so that you can move forward and start the like start being a part of this like helping circle <laughs> circle of helping and love because you're supposed to be a part of it the blueprint is within you the codes are within you everything is within you you have the power and the ability to do that right now to completely change and shift and um yeah i i, I uh, welcome you to do that <laughs> that would be awesome <laughs> we also have star keeper here cosmic ancestors see the light by staying grounded so again, about grounding. Grounding is, I guess, super important for you guys in group number one. That will really improve your life so much. Just staying grounded and not... You have a lot of energy. You have a lot of high energy. And I also feel like you're a lot in the clouds because, because there's just a lot of mental trash. Like I was saying, like you're seeing so many things and... Um, you just don't realize that your your brain is overworked and over over everything. <laughs> um, so you need to ground yourself. Again, connect with the earth, connect with the planet, allow it to help you and clear that mind, clear that mind so you can be a better channel. We're all channeling all the time, but most of us are channeling gunk. Like, imagine if your pipe is dirty, there's trash in it, and water goes through it. That water is not going to end up being clean. So we need to clean our pipes. <laughs> we also have deep cellular healing here. Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. So yeah, I mean, the, especially the emotional healing. It's time to heal those emotions. It's time to heal that heart especially and to start healing everything don't just focus on one whatever is called you're being called to focus on focus on it and the emotions they're important the mind it's important the physical body it's important all three are important to live a good and healthy and amazing life so focus on breathing well focus on laughing and focus on eating well these are some of the most important things for you right now to create a better life. And you don't have to do it all 
you know, instantly. You can start slow, but know that you have the power to even do it instantly <laughs> if you wanted to. Um, but you don't have to again. Take it slow, one step at a time, nothing crazy. Just slowly heal and get to where you need to get to. I feel like I had another card for you guys, but it just got lost somewhere. So I guess it wasn't for you. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. That's never happened to me. Um, because I remember using another one more deck. But I guess that's not for you. Group one, this is the message for you. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments, please, 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 if this resonates. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, details about how you can contact me and stuff are down below in the description. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Like and subscribe if you haven't, of course. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hello group two, you guys picked the clover and honestly, um, you should already expect um, what I'm gonna say already, <laughs> that the clover obviously brings good luck. Four leaf clover is like one of the most known signs of good luck because there's so few of them and just finding one is like amazing. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know why whoever is sending this message through is sending me this um, image of, I, I saw this reel recently about someone using a clover field instead of grass field for their house because it's more sustainable and uh, it needs less water, uh, less taken care of, and it's more beautiful too. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Maybe some of you are looking into getting a house with a lawn or <laughs> changing something up there I, I don't know <laughs> or it might mean something and let's think about it um changing changing that up and being more sustainable mean uh, needing less water and uh, doing doing things that would just be helpful not just to you but to the planet and that that must be really important for you guys right now <laughs> i like how i'm saying it like it must be <laughs> um but know that with this card coming through, it is definitely a sign that you don't need to particularly do anything. Things are fine. If you're feeling a bit weird, like, how can I make my life better? Your life is already pretty good. <laughs> Maybe you're not noticing it because um, you're, you're, I don't know, stuck in some kind of narrative. But your life is already pretty good. And it will get better. Things that you need will come to you. And good things will come to you. As long as you believe. I think that's a really important one. You, you need to believe. They're telling me you need to believe right now. And have faith that things will come into place. Like a, the puzzle is slowly being built more and more. And you need to be patient and to trust and believe. Because the more you question, the more you create a lift, rift between yourself and and your higher self and source and then the more you're putting yourself in a timeline where you might not receive those things or even if you do your life is not going to be as good as it can be let's see what tarot cards came through i'm, I'm curious considering this message so we have the two of pentacles the seven of pentacles the hierophant don't know why i had trouble saying that no and the magician. So that's really interesting. I can see what the two of uh, pentacles. I really feel like an impatience. An impatience and a feeling like either you guys are just taking up too much work. Taking on too much work. And because you're you're seeking something. You're seeking something and you're, you want something. So you think that doing more work and doing more things will get you there. But that is not the answer. The answer is being patient. Knowing that if you plant the seed, it will grow. And a lot of beautiful flowers will grow from it. And again, like the clover. I feel like even this is like clover field. No, what? This, these are not clovers. What am I talking about? But this looked like like a, like a clover. I don't know. <laughs> um, your reading is weird. Group number two. <laughs> this was not happening in group number one. 
<laughs> I was not acting like this in group number one. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I really feel like you guys need to be more patient. To allow time to do its thing. To allow the weaver to do their thing. To weave things into place. Things are not going to happen super instantaneously all the time. And just because you feel like um, impatient right now doesn't doesn't mean that well, magically things will start coming faster if you start doing more things. Um, even if you do more things, I think it will just exhaust you and um, won't really bring much much good to your situation. You have to be patient and like 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 the people who grow plants. If you have a plant, you you know you know. You get a seed and then you slowly water it every day or however much it needs. And then it slowly grows into something beautiful and then you take care of it. But it takes patience, it takes time, it takes effort, of course. But it even takes effort to be that patient. I feel like we, a lot of us are in this mindset that things will just come instantly or they need to happen instantly. Or we need to be at a certain place right now in our lives, but we don't. You don't. You're in the perfect place right now for you. And slowly you'll get to a, a, even a better place. Know that. Um, I, I really feel like there's a lot about spiritual growth, growth here for you. Um, right now you should focus on your spiritual growth, not focus on the physical. So I see here a focus on the physical for you and that's probably why you might be feeling a bit unhappy. Um, even if right now you're thinking, mm, I don't know if it's that. Mm, try to think a bit more about it and <laughs> you might realize that yeah maybe I am hoping that I have more like these other people do or I'm hoping to be you know something else or I'm hoping to receive this so that I can do this but yeah anyway focusing more on the spiritual than the physical right now is really important focusing on your mind and transforming your mind again like transforming that Field. instead of using grass for your lawn you can start using clovers and that doesn't have to be like physical <laughs> of course it can be metaphorical in some type of way um you are, have grass in your mind right now but you can change that grass into clovers and the, if you have a clover field in your mind then you'll have more four-leaf clovers there naturally come up so naturally you'll be more lucky and naturally more miracles will come to you so again <laughs> not taking it fully literally being intelligent oh yes that is very important for you being intelligent and intelligence means to read between the lines um not take things at face value and know what the metaphor means to you uh, what, why am I saying this to you? Because to all of you, it will be different. To someone, again, it, literally, they might have to change their lawn. <laughs> to some other person, it might be something completely different. It might be like a sign to do something completely different. You never know. But you need to be intelligent. And right now, you're building up that intelligence. And that intelligence is about like a spiritual intelligence where you understand the signs, where you see the signs, you feel them, uh, where when you know, you know why you're feeling in a certain type of way as well and what energy is coming through to you and you know how to work with it. So you're being given the tools, you just need to learn how to use them slowly but surely. So yeah, it's something that you're not receiving right now. You're not receiving that because you're not ready. You're not on the spirit, mental and emotional level to handle something like that. It's like if they gave you a million dollars right now, you would probably not spend them in the best way. But if they gave them to you in a few years when you've grown, doesn't have to be a few years, could be a few months. <laughs> um, but in some time, the time that is right for you, you're going to use them in a completely different way. And uh, benefit much more from them and not just you benefiting but the, uh, the whole planet because the point here again is to create a chain reaction where all of us are just helping each other helping everyone helping the world and creating a better world by by helping and by loving each other 
by assisting each other. It doesn't matter if you're the oldest soul on the planet or the newest one. If you're the most awake person or the most asleep person, <laughs> everyone uh, can help and can love. Everyone has the capacity to do that. So sharing that is creating that. And uh, again, it is how you will you will help others and use that to help others. We receive money so that we can help others. Where are you putting your money into? Because we're we're looking at the physical here. Clearly, there's probably something about money or some kind of items or something physical, maybe jobs. What are you doing? Are you helping? Are you being helpful? Or are you not? And if not, why? <laughs> How can you be more helpful? Um, yeah, what are you what are you putting your energy into as well? Um, not just your physical attributes, <laughs> attributes, um, your energy too. What are you putting it into? Maybe right now it's not the right thing because clearly you're supposed to be working more on your spiritual side. <laughs> really interesting reading group too. <laughs> kind of um, funny, funnier one as well. We have the great serving here. Mars energy, anger, conf conflict, and softening to love. So hmm, working, on, working on some of that, mm, it's really interesting. A bit confusing though. Softening to love, allowing yourself to be more open to even criticism. Ooh, there's something about criticism here. Ooh, some of you don't like criticism. <laughs> some of you don't like to be called out, don't like to be criticized. Maybe not by me, because, you know, this is a YouTube video. You clicked on this knowing that it might tell you something that you should stop doing. But people in your life, maybe they trigger you if they tell you you, they, you did something not the best or wrong. And especially if it's someone who you feel like they're not as good at, as you in that field. Um, for example, if it's like a junior at work telling you, a senior, uh, that you're doing something wrong, you might be like, oh, what does this junior think they're telling me? I know this already, or uh, I think my work is fine. It's softening up to being able to take the, uh, like opinions like that, because um, unless it's done in a, in a negative and angry way, uh, the way they express themselves, um, then they're just trying to help you and assist you in some way. And if you're taking it in a bad way, then then what, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? That's all I can say. <laughs> um, you, you know why that's bad. You know, I don't need to tell you that that's bad. Um, and maybe you're not doing that. Maybe you're telling people in an angry way or annoyed way, oh, you're doing this wrong. Um, but you need to actually tell them in a more loving way. If you want to give them your opinion on something, speak with love. Don't speak with anger and annoyance. So again, it's creating this chain of love and helping each other and just being, a I don't know, a beautiful planet. I, I really feel like this is it. This is the start, especially after this eclipse and new moon um, that happened. If you're watching this as it comes out, I, I really feel like it's like it's starting to create a blank slate for a lot of us, and it's there so that we can start doing this, start um, preparing to be more and more helpful and be more and more loving and together. Um, so we can create a beautiful planet together. A beautiful environment for everyone. Not just ourselves. We have inner earth here as well. You'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. So again, the new beginnings. Changing that lawn. Uh, whatever that means to you. Changing that lawn into something that will need less, um, less water, I guess. Less things to be kept... Um, going <laughs> that will be more beautiful that will bring you more good luck uh, more happiness more magic into your life it will bring magic and fairies into your life um and being open to all of that and know that if you're going through something hard right now and that's why you know we started this reading off with if you feel like your life is not good 
group two probably is good. You just feel like it's not good right now. <laughs> Um, but even if it's awful and I was, you know, completely wrong that it's not that bad, um, it will be fine. You'll get through this and I feel like things will get just much better the more you seek, um, a way, another way, a different way, a way that doesn't involve conflict, that doesn't involve anger, a way that involves love and helping others. We also have the Temple of the Rose here. Ancient Power Expression Activation Scarlet Codes. This is an interesting one to come through. So you guys are quite special, I feel like, since this card is coming through. You're quite special. You're part of a very special group. And um, there's a reason that your, your life is the way that it is, that you're going through the things you're going through. You already know this. There is a reason for that. And it's to clear a lot of energetic uh, weight off of your lineage. And to clear a lot of karma, not just your own, but of your, your particular family, I guess, your ancestry. Um, you're clearing that away. And you're there in your particular field and your family, everything that you're around, everything that's around you is there because it's the perfect environment for you, not just to grow, but to, to prosper and to create miracles. You're literally a miracle creator. I don't know where this is coming through. <laughs> I guess this is, you know, channel, channeling through very nicely, <laughs> but you're a miracle creator and I feel like a lot of you don't believe that. <laughs> a lot of you are probably like, oh, no, not me. <laughs> or like, maybe I am, but I don't know how to do it. You don't need to know how. You just need to believe. And uh, again, work on your spiritual side more right now. Work on your inner self and growing, learning more, and uh, learning how to use the tools that you have because you have a lot of tools. You're a soul that came in here with a lot of tools and you need to start learning how to use them, not just randomly, you know, do whatever. Like a lot of us don't understand energy. No one, most people don't understand energy. You know, and we have at least some kind of knowledge. People who aren't awake, they have no idea. Everyone is leaving their energy on random items on random things. Um, and they just don't don't know and it's normal not to know because no one taught us this <laughs> there's no guidebook and you're not gonna have a guidebook you're gonna need to figure this out by yourself figure out what your strengths and you know what your abilities are and figure out how to properly work with them but you have a lot and you're someone who's gonna activate a lot of other people too but you're not ready yet to activate a lot of other people if that's what you're seeking for the future Know that you're still growing um, mentally and spiritually and emotionally uh, so that you can get there physically. <clears throat> hmm. The next card we have for you here is Say It Out Loud. That is an interesting one to come through. Um, I, I really feel like for you guys, it will be important to speak, to speak what more about your feelings and yourself. Maybe you're not talking enough and expressing enough of your emotions. So you're focused on the physical. Maybe now you're looking into your body and like, oh, maybe I can fix, like, make this better about my body, make this better about my house, make this better about, you know, whatever physical thing. Um, but you need to focus on the inner part more. Like she's in water. Focus on the emotions. Focus on the inner side um, because there's a lot there to be um, released. And the more you release, not just the bad things, but also your thoughts, your opinions, your feelings, release, 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 share, share, share. Um, I, I was saying that, you know, you're not, you're going to activate a lot of people. Uh, you're already activating people, just not as many as you will be in the future. Um, yeah, you're not ready to activate that big of a mass of people, but you're ready to activate some and speaking might help activate someone say it out loud and if you feel like you need to to say something to someone say it don't be scared 
Another thing that's coming through is using affirmations. Affirmations and actually saying them out loud. I am strong. I am healthy. I am, I don't know, beautiful. Anything that you want to be, to feel, say it out loud. It's so powerful to speak. Speak it, say it, put it into words, make it manifest and know that it will. Because you, again, you're such a powerful soul, but you don't understand it. And you just don't have a guidebook to yourself and to your <laughs> to how to use your abilities. So you need to start figuring it out. Because if you don't, you're going to fall, fall behind. Um, <laughs> and that's probably why you're, you're watching this. Because you're, you're feeling like you need to do something. Like you could do something better. This is what you could do better. And I'm trying to help. <laughs> So I hope that you will um, consider doing at least some of this. <laughs> we have Mother Mary here. Love and peace. So say it out loud. Love and peace. I am love. I am peace. Say it out loud. I am love. I am loved. I am full of love. And I am full of compassion. And I bring peace. Say it out loud. And speak with love. Again, speaking with love, not with anger, not with annoyance, not with even sadness. I mean, sometimes when we're sad, you know, we can't help it. But we can definitely help it when we're angry. Yeah, it feels like we can't, but we definitely can. <laughs> Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. So again, uh, going back to that uh, healing the ancestral line. Um, definitely might be stuff for some of you coming through from your maternal um, ancestry and things that need to be cleared there still and that's probably what you're working on right now so don't worry um, everything will be fine <laughs> you can easily work through this that's why you're here that's why you are you your unique self um, but it, again, with the great serving, this is a great card because it's time to let go of the need to be right, the need to create conflict just to be right, the, the anger when someone tells you something that you don't agree with. We are all different. We're all on different pages. We're all in different parts of our lives. Um, sometimes you might understand this message that's coming through right now just from my video and you don't need anything more that's it i'm done i learned this and that's it but some other people they might need a lot more they might need to experience it they might not even be ready to understand this kind of knowledge and we shouldn't be angry at them we shouldn't be annoyed by that we should just let them be what they are and where they're at because we were there at some point we were all there and I'm sure we wouldn't have liked it if someone was getting angry or something when, uh, or just arguing with us when that was happening. And even if someone else out there is arguing with you, you don't need to argue back. You can be the bigger person. You can be the loving person. We have open to abundance here. Your reading is packed with different stuff. It started off with you don't really need to do anything. Good things won't come to you. But there's just a lot of other stuff as well. <laughs> Believe you deserve, accept plenty and prosperity. Saying that out loud too. Again, using the affirmations out loud. Very important for you guys. Um, and saying that I am abundant. I am free. I am prosperous. Um, everything that you feel like you... you maybe want to be the speaking it saying that you are and moving into believing it um i know it doesn't work for everyone as well as it can but since it's coming through here it definitely can work for you so you have to believe trust and know that things will come you have to believe that you deserve love to receive love you have to believe that you deserve money to receive money because some of us don't believe that some of us just don't and we we think that we want it we want it yeah but do we believe that we 
deserve it. Sometimes we don't. Um, and are we ready to accept it? How do you feel when someone gives you something? You know, do you feel a bit like, oh, I feel bad. Like they're giving me something. Why are you feeling bad? They're just being generous. We also have look for the signs, pay attention and expect an answer. Again, really, you guys are diving more, are supposed to dive more into the spiritual side, looking for signs, looking for signs in your life. Again, looking at your, uh, whatever is happening to you, for example, what are the signs there? What is it a sign of? If you are having an issue with something, why are you having that issue? Why is that coming? Why is that coming up? What is it a sign of? Are you seeing a lot of numbers? Are you seeing a lot of like just random animals popping around um, in real life or even on just photos online? Like sometimes that can be a sign too. expect an answer in some type of way if you're asking a question and don't expect it to come and like, oh, yeah, someone's literally telling me this. No, it might come in another way where, you know, signs like animals, animals are a clear sign numbers. Other ways, music, people telling you random things. Um, and again, triggers, people triggering you. Why? That's a sign. It's a sign. The more we view it that way, the less angry we'll get when that happens. Like, and we'll be thankful. Thank you for triggering me because I didn't know I still had that in me and I had to work on that. Thank you. <laughs> Angel with a flower garland is the last card I have for you, group two. I am the magic in your heart. Open your mind and listen and shine out to the others around you. So yeah, you have a lot to, to show, a lot to shine out. Um, you just need to open up, open up, open your mind, open your mind, definitely. Again, working on the spiritual side, opening your mind more, uh, learning more about this kind of stuff, about energy, about how to work with your own energy, about how to work with whatever you feel you need to work with and uh, using that. Um, and also listening, listening, paying attention for signs. So much information here for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you thought about all of this. Uh, if you're interested in a personal reading, details about how you can contact me are down below in the description. And like and subscribe if you haven't. And I hope I see you in my next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Hello, group number three. You guys picked the bramble. And it's so interesting that um, the bramble is 44, <laughs> even though you're group three, you got 44, two fours. Um, and the bramble is here to tell you to, about stability, to talk about stability for sure. Stability and defenses, uh, strength, in a, in, a, in a way of being strong and unwavering, um, not wavering to things and protecting yourself, not being defenseless to the people and the, the energies and the things around you. So now is a very important time for you guys to uh, somehow protect yourself for yourselves uh, in different ways. So all of you are going to have different ways that you're going to need to protect yourselves, obviously. For some of you, you might literally might want to start physically protecting yourself in some way. Um, like if there's the flu going around, um, eating a lot of things that will help keep your immune system higher. Or like if you're going to travel a lot, again, eating things that will help your immune system stay well and protect you uh, or protect yourself in another way. Um, <laughs> there's so many ways to protect yourself physically, uh, but that's just one example. Protecting yourself in a spiritual way, like putting up shields. If you're not, if you're slacking on the shields and you feel like you're a bit more affected by things and you're feeling really like sensitive recently, Maybe it will be very good for you to put up some shields um, and not just once a day, but multiple times a day, as many times as you feel you need to putting up shields so that you don't have to come into contact with too much energy that you don't want to. 
um, and that you feel like you can't handle. Um, and if you feel like there's something about emotions here and being very sensitive emotionally to people's words, if you feel like it's hard for you to take what other people are saying to you, even though you know maybe it's right, um, if you don't like the way that they're saying it, if it's more in a detached sort of way, that's coming through because <laughs> we're, we're talking about... Oof, the, the energy is a bit weird. <laughs> Let me just whew, ground it. Um, we're talking about the age of Aquarius here. <clears throat> Suddenly. <laughs> so the age of Aquarius is a time when a lot of people... The, the style of a lot of things will be less attached. More detachment. Um... And there will definitely be more of a, a feeling that things aren't as, as warm as they could be with people. People might be speaking to you in a way where it's really analytical, really just detached or emotionless. Or maybe there is a bit of love there, but it's not that strong. And it's still, you know, whatever is being thrown at you is... Um, more powerful in a way, <laughs> overpowering you and your strength. In in that time, maybe it might be important to step back and um, maybe either tell this person, put up a boundary and say, you know, I feel like I, I don't feel strong enough right now to talk about this. I do think it's important and we will talk about it at some point if it is. Um, but right now I'm feeling a bit sensitive, so, uh, you know, I would appreciate if you try to speak in a nicer way, a <laughs> more loving way. Uh, or you can just completely, you know, um, decide to, to take a step back and maybe not spend as much time with that person so you can work on yourself and growing your own defenses so that you're not as sensitive because... This is, you know, uh, maybe a hot take, but it's not the other person's fault that you're getting offended. <laughs> yeah, maybe some people say things that they shouldn't and they aren't the best, but it's not because of that that you're getting offended and affected. It's because you have an issue. If you didn't have something there, if you didn't have... um yeah, something that needs to be healed. And if you also had, you know, your protection, whatever that is to you, you wouldn't be affected no matter what anyone says to you. No matter how they say it, if they yell at you and tell you you're the worst person on earth, you should go whatever <laughs> bad thing you can imagine. Um, that That just can't affect you because it just can't. But if it is affecting you, there's a reason. And again, maybe a hot take for some people, but it's not their fault. That means that you have something that you need to work on. So don't hate them for doing that. They're doing it for some kind of reason. If they're yelling at you, there's a problem with them too that they need to realize. <laughs> but if it's more of like a, a detached style maybe it's something with you so working on that working on your defenses again really important and strengthening yourself let's see what tarot cards came through i feel like again like with group two i was feeling your your group their group was kind of weird <laughs> weirder than group one um like a weird energy <laughs> like i feel different um Yours, I also definitely feel different and a bit weird, but not in the same way as group two. Um, with you, I feel like a stern energy, but also there is love. There is a lot of love for you, group three, but... Oh, and yeah, clearly here with the lovers, there's love there for you, but something is missing... Something about you. I feel like a stern parent. That kind of energy. Like, you know, if you want this, you need to do something about it. <laughs> if 
You can't just keep saying, you, stop doing that, or you, give me love. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. Um, so yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles here, oh, I didn't even say, we have the Star, Sun, Lovers, and Eight of Pentacles. With the Eight of Pentacles, there's definitely stuff to work on. Stuff to work on. Um, working again on your, building up your defenses, building up yourself, working on yourself, because um, if you need defenses, then that's not a bad thing. You know, none of us are perfect. All of us have our own issues we need to deal with. No one on earth, no human is perfect. Um, and no human is at the point where they don't need any defenses ever. <laughs> Everyone at some point is going to get triggered. Um, and that's just how it is right now. Maybe in the future soon it will change, hopefully. But for now, we're still here. <laughs> um, so we need to work on stuff. And there's, it's no, it's not shameful to, to set boundaries. It's not shameful to, to feel bad, but it's about learning that it's a growth process in ourselves. And we're growing together with the people around us. Like the people who may hurt you in some way, you're growing together. You're helping them grow and they're helping you grow. They're triggering you so that you can grow. You are reacting to them and telling them that they're triggering you so that they can grow. It's all about growth. And again, that chain of growth, ah, it's all coming together, you know, for every single group. It all came together to the, that chain, creating that chain of love, helping and growth. Let's all help each other. Let's all grow together. Let's all love each other. Spread love and spread happiness, and spread good good vibes, <laughs> yeah, spread, spread uh, hope out there as well, I feel like there's so much nastiness out there, and that's normal, you know, it's fine, it, 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 it exists, it's not bad, but you know, we, we're not about that, we're here to change that, we're here to be different, and we know that, that's why we feel uncomfortable during, uh, when we see it, when we feel it, so we're here to change that. So just change yourself so that you can help change others. <laughs> it's so easy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sounds so easy, but it's so hard to do. Um, but yes, I <clears throat> definitely see just so much love and happiness inside you and outside you. And if you're not seeing it and feeling it outside, then... Hopefully you will soon <laughs> because it's there. <laughs> then you need to you need to work on uh, seeing it and actually feeling it. Because if you're not feeling it and it's there, then you're just not open enough. And there's really something here about this lovers. There's someone special for you. Definitely a lot of people here. We're we're really talking about working with others and. Um, maybe it's a significant other, maybe it's a parent, maybe it's a friend, uh, someone who's really just close to you, or maybe it's a few people that are um, representing this lovers um, right now for you. They don't have to be lovers, by the way, just connected in some type of way, connected to you so that they can help you grow. That's the lovers, the two sides of the coin, um, connected, one and the same, just the different, <laughs> but the same, and there to show... Uh, each other that part of themselves um so there's people there in your life right now they're playing this role of showing you what you need to work on showing you love showing you how to find happiness I, you don't even need this video those people are trying to show it to you in some type of way some might for some of you it might be a positive way for others it might not seem the most positive but they're trying to show you the way. They're trying to show you how to get there. You need to just believe. You need to trust. You need to seek seek happiness. You need to seek love. And not dwell on, on the past and on, on bad emotions. Um, focus on good. Focus on building a better world, a better planet, a better you. Focus on bringing more love, more light, more happiness. Again, it just sounds so easy, but it's not. It's not. 
because all, all that you need right now is hope, faith that things will get better, faith that things will, that the sun will shine and that, that you will be happy and everyone around you will be happy at some point. You should definitely focus on yourself. <laughs> uh, but I think that the people around you, the more that you're happier, the more happy they will become too. So again, it's creating that chain of love, helping, <clears throat> building, building together. We have here in north, south, east, and west. So all of the directions. All of them. People from all over. You are together with all of us. We are all together. We're all one. But we're all... We all divided it ourselves. And split so that we can create this world. We're now all starting to come together. To bring more light. To bring more happiness. To bring more joy. <clears throat> And the way for us to do that is to, of course, have faith in ourselves, in our mission, to have faith that things are going great, that we are doing what we're supposed to be doing, and keep working, keep doing what we need to do. Um, there's also something here about realizing uh, the limitations of yourself, what your limits are, again, setting boundaries when you, you find the limit um, and realizing why those limits are there as well. Um, not just limits with, like, you, for example, your limit, how much can you take of someone yelling at you, you know? Because <laughs> obviously it might not offend you if they yell at you at once, but it gets annoying if they keep doing that. You don't want to be around someone like that. <laughs> so that's a limit. What's your limit? How how much can someone yell at you before you say, I'm done, I'm, bye. Um, but I'm talking about a limit, a limitation of the, the 3D that we're in, the bodies that we're in. Why do we have these limitations? Why do you have your specific particular limitation? Are you, for example, allergic to something? Can you Are you not able to do something that other people can or... Whatever it is for you, what are you limited in? What kind of way are you limited in? Do you have less money than others? Do you have less time than others? Do you have less love than others? Why do you have that limit? Think about that. Why is that limit there for you? What is it trying to teach you? Because everything is here to teach us something. <laughs> we have... Plant yourself here. Integration, embodiment, and grounded action. So again, together with the bramble, this is a very good combo. Grounding yourself, being present, allowing yourself to uh, be like a, a tree and build, build up, build, grow. The tree has like, there's something about the bark and it's like defending the inside of the tree. And... You can build that for yourself too. You can ground yourself. The more you're grounded, the more you're defending and protecting yourself, by the way. The more grounded you are, the less fear can affect you. And what's coming through right now is that fear tactics, fear mongering is really something that might start affecting you if it hasn't already. So if you're scared about a lot of things, just ground yourself. That's the best way to protect yourself from fear. Grounding yourself, then you're not scared. Being reminded of how I'm scared of snakes. <laughs> Need to ground myself and then even if I see a snake, I won't be scared. <laughs> so what are you scared of? And uh, why do you need to ground yourself? Well, that's not even a, a good question. <laughs> We just do. Fall into my arms. Surrender. Holding the opposite extremes of life. Hmm. You're experiencing extremes. And there's a reason you're experiencing extremes. Because there's something out of balance within you. And it's trying to show you that. 
Some of you might be experiencing extremes because you just like it. <laughs> because you just like that kind of living. Um, even if you're saying right now, oh, no, I hate when it's bad. Yeah, everyone hates when it's bad. Everyone loves when it's good. But you can't have the good without the bad. You can't have the light without the darkness. So, um, yeah. <laughs> How extreme do you want to be? How extreme do you want to get? You choose. You chose this. And you're choosing it every single second. Every single second, you can shift into another timeline that things aren't as extreme. Or that things are even more extreme. Every single second you have the power. What are you doing with that power? How are you working uh, with your powers? And what are you building? And remember that there's always going to be the good and the bad. Again, they just come together like light and dark. That's just the universe we're in. So don't hate it. Uh, understand it and I guess learn to love it in a way. We also have Freya. Oh, with cycles. Mm. Really interesting one to come through after. Uh, there is a beginning with in every ending. Illusions are being revealed and released. So whatever bad extreme you're going through, that's to show you the, the illusions. That's to show you, to shine light on the darkness. Whatever that darkness is, whatever was left in the darkness for you, that it's being, a light is shining on it. The sun is shining a light upon it. And, oh, that's really um, making me think for some of you, yeah, some person is coming in to shine light on whatever is wrong in your life. And it's there, 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 or whatever situation is there to show you, to shine it, to show you. See it, see it, and start a new beginning. It's time for a new cycle. So you're being shown this old cycle so you can start a new one. Um, there's also something about ravens. If you guys see ravens, that's a sign. I don't know what sign. You need to figure that out yourself. <laughs> but that's a sign. And working with the moon is so important. Um, try to work with the moon in some kind of way. Whatever way feels best for you. Because we all have our own um, ways <laughs> that are best. We also have Melchizedek, higher learning. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. So you've been working quite hard on experiencing things, I guess. Now it's time to work on growing in internally, growing spiritually, and um, growing growing the love inside you and the faith inside you, becoming more positive becoming just a better human and a better contributor like i feel like <laughs> oh it this kind of feels bad saying it um like a lot of people are selfish they're thinking like oh well i'm happy the way that i am i'm happy the way that for example with like oh with the way i'm eating i'm happy with the way i'm eating why does that that doesn't affect anyone else it just affects me but that's not true everything that you do everything you consume everything that you choose every choice you make it affects not just you not just uh, the people around you not just your future or present children uh grandchildren etc it affects everyone on the planet. Every choice you make affects even someone who is on the other side of the planet. You need to understand that and you need to be more responsible with your choices. Take more responsibility. Because yeah, it's nice and fun to do some stupid stuff from time to time. But are, who is that helping? Is that helping you? No. You think it's uh, not, it's only affecting you badly, but it's not. It's affecting everyone else badly. If you fall behind on your mission, we are all falling behind. <laughs> We're like uh, ants, <laughs> all chained together. We, we don't understand. We don't realize it because um, we're not fully conscious of the connection, but we're all connected and um, we're all kind of working together. So again, if you're falling behind in some way, if you're choosing darkness more than light, if you're choosing heaviness over l lightness uh, and etc., <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, if you're choosing more, let's say, bad things than good, 
then you're making the choice to, towards that timeline and you're making that choice for every one single person. So whenever you pick up those chips from the store, think about that. You are affecting someone on the whole other side of the planet by choosing to eat junk food. <laughs> and I'm talking about food because I feel like people just don't understand how much they are disconnected from the planet because they are eating junk and processed stuff. You guys might already know all this, so I'm going to stop rambling about it. But um, people need to realize that. Start thinking more about that. How disconnected you are from the planet. We have soul healing here. Align with your essence. See your true colors. See your true colors. And like I was saying, we're all like ants. We're all connected. Um, like a hive mind, I guess. We just don't feel it because we don't understand it fully. I think in one of the other groups I was mentioning how, you know, we're, um, it, even if we don't read every single sign we walk past, our brain is still processing that information because our eyes are seeing it in some kind of way. Our brain is processing the information and that's, we're just talking about visuals. We have several senses. We smell. The smells that you might not realize you're smelling. Sometimes you can smell it, like actually, like perfumes. Um, or the smell of the flowers. But there's some scents that you might not be, like, actually smelling. Like, they, it might not smell like anything. But it's there, in the air, and you're breathing it in. So, again, you're detecting something. Your taste buds. What are you, what are you touching? Uh, what are you hearing? Everything that you hear... All of this, your brain is processing. You don't fully uh, understand it because it's, in a way, protecting us, our conscious minds, from overload. Because there is an information overload. So, removing that, um, over <laughs> everything that's overloading us, can help us see our true colors. Can help us understand our connection to each other. How my choice affects you. How your choice affects me. How are we affecting each other? What are our choices doing for us and for everyone else around us? Being more responsible, seeing our true essence, that we're all one, that we're all connected. It's not just me, not just my own essence. I'm seeing all of us together in one. Um, and yeah, healing whatever needs to be healed. <laughs> because you've experienced a lot. And a lot of that has left scars that need to be healed. And that's why you need protection. Go with the flow. Relax and trust and accept what is happening. So know that everything that is happening to you is happening for a reason. It's happening so that it can teach you something. What are you having issues with right now? Is it your body? Is it your um, mind? Is it what your 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 possessions? Is it some person? For a lot of you, it probably will be something with some person. Um, since we got the lovers and some other cards. But what what is it trying to teach you? What is it telling you? Go with it. Relax. Trust and know that it's happening for your highest good. Because nothing... Uh, we... It's just a... a, a mm, this is like a universal law. Nothing can be done to you that you have not said yes to in some type of way. Yes, we are thinking in the way of a human right now. Obviously, I would never say yes to something bad happening to me. But maybe I said it in another way with my actions. So no one wants diabetes. If you don't want diabetes, why are you eating all of this uh, fatty stuff? And yeah, it's not the sugar, it's the fat. <laughs> um, shocker. <laughs> why are you eating all this junk too? Like, why you made those choices in your past and they're coming to bite you at some point. Yeah, you didn't want to get diabetes, but you made those choices and those choices led you to that. For example, <laughs> sorry if you guys have diabetes. Um, I hope that you can heal fast. Or whatever you have, I hope that you can heal and get through it fast and easily because you can. You have the power, you have the ability. You're so strong, you're so powerful, you just need to realize it. So understand that, again, everything that's happening to you is there to help you. And uh, just relax. Whatever, whatever you're stressed about, there's no need to be stressed about it. Because 
if it's supposed to go well, it will go well. And we have the last card here. I give you star dreams. Feel blessed and know that troubles that have followed you are now far behind. So yeah, whatever hurt you in the past, it can't hurt you anymore. You learned from it already. If you learned from it, then you're moving on to another cycle. If you're in a cycle about learning about self-love, then issues about self-love are not going to keep coming back. If they keep coming back, then you have not learned. <laughs> so learn and then move on to a new cycle. Easy. It's so easy, isn't it? It sounds easy. It's so hard to do. Again, that's the story of you guys, your guys' group. It sounds easy, but it's not that easy. Um, and pay attention to your dreams. Every time this card comes through, I need to say that. Pay attention to your dreams. Signs might be sent to you there about what you need to work on, what you need to do. Everything is a sign. So start reading the signs that are uh, not written in English or whatever language you read that are written in a more fourth dimensional, five dimensional, six dimensional, or higher dimensional uh, language. So yeah. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful in some kind of way. I feel like I was kind of lecturing you. I'm so sorry <laughs> to everyone who picked group three. I love you all and I'm sending you lots of love and I hope that everything will go well for you. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that you can get through whatever you're going through and just keep shining and being beautiful. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading details about how you can contact me or down below in the description, like and subscribe if you haven't. And I hope you have a great day. I love you. And yeah, hope I see you in my next video. Bye.